Guys, today I'm going to be making Snicker Doodle cookies. I've never made them before, so don't use this as a tutorial because I don't really I've never made them before. I'm really excited. We'll show the measurements if you do want to like. Okay, first, preheat your oven to 350. First, add one stick of softened butter. Okay, now add a three quarters cup of sugar. I'm just adding three of these one fourths. Then mix until light and fluffy. It's not fully mixed yet, but I'm just like pushing the sides down. Now we're gonna crack an egg into it there. Now mix. Now in a separate bowl, add one and one third of flour. If you use unsalted butter, add a pinch of salt. Then add a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Then add a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Take off the paddle attachment and start putting in the dry mix and like kind of like fold it in. I'll show you in a sec. After you just add all of it. And then just start like folding it in like so gonna like take a bit but just like keep folding it then add one teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon and then do the same thing with the sugar so one teaspoon of sugar and then a half teaspoon of sugar mix then line the like baking thing with parchment paper now I'm gonna roll a little piece of the dough into a circle and then I'm just gonna like dunk it into the cinnamon and sugar mix like so. This one I think I made it a bit big so I'm only gonna do like two in a row. I finished putting them all on. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven for like eight to ten minutes until it's like golden brown. We just took out the cookies after eight minutes. It's gonna look like really soft as you can see um, but it's cooked and it's supposed to be like a little chewy. I accidentally already put the tape, the teaspoons and like the, that stuff into the sink. So now I'm just going to take like, I don't know, around that much cinnamon. It's not very exact amounts, but amounts, but yeah. And then I'm going to take the same amount of sugar. I let the, the cookies sit for around like five minutes and then now I'm just gonna put it into like a tray. Now I'm just gonna like roll them into balls like I did before and then roll it into the mix. I finished rolling them all in and putting them in the cinnamon and sugar and I kind of like, I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I put 11 of them in there because I didn't want to have to do another batch after this. So I kind of just squeeze them all in there like that. Now I'm going to put them in the oven for like 10 minutes because I want them to be a little crispier than this batch. I'm going to taste test the cookie. It's a little thin, otherwise it's really good. Okay. It's my favorite cookie ever. Okay, um, my mom just tried it. What do you rate it? nine it's a solid nine i give it like a 8.5 i don't know it's really good i would definitely definitely recommend trying it if you like to bake and i like to bake okay um my dad's now gonna try the cookie what would you rate it out of 10. can you do 11. okay there you go nine okay we took them out and we're just gonna let them sit and cool off. It looks so delicious. I accidentally forgot to film like a little outro. Outro. Now it's like a like a week later than I made them, and the cookies were like amazing. Like I love them, and they like disappeared in like a day. Let me know in the comments if you made these cookies. I would like love to know and. I may, I may link 
the recipe in the description if you want to go make that. That's it. Bye.